Well, as Bennett mentioned, Dr. Husel's case now heads to a civil trial. 10 TV reporter Kevin go. Landers is following that part of the story. He joins us now from the former Mount Carmel Hospital where Dr. Husel used to work. Kevin? Well, good evening. The attorney representing the families of the patients of Dr. Husel says even though Dr. Husel was found not guilty on all counts in the criminal case, it will have no bearing on the civil case. Today, he compared the today's jury verdict in the Husel case to that of O.J. Simpson. The attorney representing the patients of Dr. William Husel say his strategy is simple to convince a jury to award damages against Husel and his former employer, Mount Carmel. And we don't have to prove that Dr. Husel intended to kill people or what his intent was. We simply have to show cause and effect. He did something, it was wrong, and it harmed these patients. It's a much lower bar than in the criminal case where the state had to prove Dr. Husel intended to kill his patients by overprescribing fentanyl. Medical malpractice attorney Jerry Leesburg said an acquittal in one case will have no bearing on what happens in the civil court. He compared the murder trial against Husel to that of O.J. Simpson. How did that work for O.J. Simpson? Uh, as everybody knows, he was acquitted in the criminal trial and then had to take the stand and defend himself in the civil trial, and that ended up with a $35 million verdict against him. Unlike the Dr. Husel criminal trial, where Husel never took the stand to defend himself, the civil trial will be different because Dr. Husel will be deposed. The time for lawyer talk is over. We look forward to deposing Dr. Husel, and we will finally be able to answer the question that's been on everybody's minds, what was Dr. Husel thinking? In the criminal trial, Dr. Husel was described as a doctor who did what was best for his patients. The attorney representing his patients planned to show the opposite. Was his heart in the right place? We're going to find out, but it doesn't make any difference. You don't get to do what you want to do as a doctor in disregard for whatever accepted standards of medical practice are. Now, in the civil case, a new set of medical experts will take the stand to try to discredit Dr. Husel. We also learned that during the criminal case, there were threats both made electronically and uh, through phone to both the judge and witnesses testi testifying against Dr. Husel, and authorities are now made aware of it. Reporting live in Franklinton, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Kevin, thank you. Now, in response to today's verdict, Mount Carmel says it's never been their place to determine whether Husel's actions were criminal, but they have extensive measures in place designed to prevent anything like this from ever happening again in our health system. That is their statement. And the Franklin County prosecuting attorney said Husel was carefully uh, tried and they accept the jury verdict. Today's